What's up guys, JTails here with another competitive guide and this time I'm going to be talking about Link. And the first thing I want to discuss is um, what Link looks for and we can go to Battlefield to kind of uh, test this out. Link has been um, getting a lot of buffs with the recent patches. So I actually think he's slowly but surely becoming the great character everybody wants him to become. It's like, Roy's our boy, but actually, like, Link's our boy, because so many people keep asking me for Link. So I just want to go over um, his tools and how they work and how I view Link as a competitor. So um, let's get right into it. So the main thing I'm looking for as Link is bombs. I want to almost always be pulling out a bomb. Um, at any given point. It's important to note that you can't have two bombs on the screen at more than two bombs on the screen at the same time. So if I try to pull out an, a third one before see before the second one explodes, I can't. He'll just pull out nothing. So that's important to take note of. Um, and the reason bombs are so good is because not only do they um, apply pressure, but if your opponent shields the bomb, it actually bounces off their shield. And it um, it controls space. Obviously, the arrows control space too, but while I'm charging an arrow, I can't move. So while ha having a bomb, I have an additional tool that I can you know follow up off of. That's why bombs are better than the other projectiles, in my opinion. Um, boomerangs are cool too. Um, Real quick, um, a few things about the boomerang is that you can angle it upwards, um, you can actually angle it downwards, well, see I angled it down and it bounced, but you can angle it, um, in, up or down basically, in any direction you want, so it's pretty good if your opponent's coming from the air to use the boomerang as kind of an anti-air to cover that space, um, there's also a wind box on the boomerang, so if it misses you, um, it'll actually push your opponents, uh, in the direction that it's moving. Um, another quick thing about the boomerang is that um, when Link catches the boomerang, I believe it's still... Yeah, alright, so check this out. Notice how much end lag I have on my down air. I'm holding shield so you can see how long it takes for me to put up my shield. Right? Now, I'm going to throw the boomerang and I'm going to down air. Notice how it's canceling the end lag. Oops, I gotta time it a little bit better. See that? I put, I instantly put up my shield. And that's um, because the animation of Link catching the boomerang actually cancels a lot of his end lag on anything that, that has end lag on it. Um, when Link catches the boomerang, it'll kind of just get rid of that immediately altogether. And I'm not saying that this is a, you know, a strategy or a tactic that, that is to be used often. But I'm saying that it's something to look into. It's it's something that that's a little gimmick or a little mind game that you can add to your repertoire of link knowledge. Um, but yeah, bombs are cool because they control a lot of space. Um, they lead into follow-ups depending on how you use them. And my favorite way of using them is actually throwing them down and then going for a neutral air. And that neutral air will kind of stun them a little bit in the air. Oops. Or you could go for down air, you can, um, you know, you can get really creative with the bombs. Um, but before we talk about the bombs, I want to talk about the boomerang and why I think it's a, it's a pretty cool tool. Let's see if I can uh, get Ganon at the trajectory. Oops! Whoa. Is that new? Alright, maybe I didn't know that, but down, air, down tilt spikes? I did not know that. I used to try it as Link, but it didn't work. Um, so I'm just going to put some damage on Ganondorf and I want to show some cool boomerang tricks. Let's see if I can get it on him. Oh no, but um, basically on certain stages you can use the wind from the boomerang to kind of gimp people and it, it looks, oh he's dead. Yeah, it looks really cool because you just kind of run off and uh, it can be hard to do because while you're so close to the wall you're going to keep grabbing the boomerang. But um, if you time it right, you can actually use the boomerang to, uh... wow, that's an interesting one. But you can you can play around with this and kind of angle it different ways to try and gimp people. And um, the boomerang goes through the stage, so that's another cool thing about it. Yeah, see, so something like that I could see working. If your opponent is um, coming from below you diagonally, it'll push them away. Um... 
So you can actually play around with this um, for characters that recover low or characters that don't have a very good recovery. Um, you can really mess around and, and try and get the boomerang to go horizontally off stage, which I've, I've done it before, but I guess it's been a while since I used Link. But um, one thing to note is that on 4 Glory, this might not work because the curve of most Omega stages will not allow for this angle um, on the boomerang. But it's just an idea for you to kind of bounce the boomerang off the side of the stage and try and give people. Um, not many links do this, not that I've seen. So I think it's pretty creative. I, I don't, never seen many links do it. So I think it's worth a shot. It's risky. It can be risky, but you got to practice it. Anyway, so that's just my own little thing that I've never really seen any link players do. Um, fast fall and neutral air is extremely fast if you short hop and fast fall it so it's like a nice little poke and also if you space it you can't get shield grab so it's it's cool to like kind of mix people up with a uh, fast fall nair into a jab depending on what they're gonna do fast fall forward air is also very good um for controlling space so you know link has relatively low end lag so if you want to just like if you think someone's gonna jump into you and you want to kind of just throw this out there um, that's fine too. You can just use it to control the space. Bomb toss into Nair is one of my, my favorite setups as Link. And then you can look for the back air. Um, also, another thing is uh, back air into B reverse arrow. So um, let me just demonstrate what exactly I'm talking about. So after the bomb toss, sometimes you'll see me go for a Nair into back air into B reverse arrow. Um, and let's see if I can pull that off right now. Well, things like that will work too. Um, another confirm is a uh, Zare into dash attack um, at certain percents and on certain characters. Also, jumping off with the down air. Down air is a good kill move. It also um, can spike if you hit them at the right hitbox. Um, which is like, as soon as it comes out, you gotta be hitting them with it. And it'll spike. So it, it can be good to use off stage if you have a nice read. Um, otherwise, it can be used to kill vertically, um, which is also great. See, and the reason I talk about ba uh, back air into B reverse is because Link's back air hits from behind him, right? So if you want to follow up, you kind of can't hit them with anything else except for an arrow. Um, so you can go for like a back air into B reverse arrow after they get sent flying. Um, otherwise, you can't really follow up with anything else. Um, Link's jab is... Oh, down air time. Ooh, Ganon interrupting that. But yeah, down air off stage is not a bad idea, as long as you save your second jump. So I like to use down air to kind of cover characters who are going to recover, and then I'll jump and up B. But be very careful that you don't jump twice and then down air, because then you may not be able to make it back. Um, but by pressing the Z button in the air... You're able to space with your grapple hook, which has now extended range. So that's really good. Um, and at the claw, it actually sends opponents at a different trajectory than if you just hit with the chain. So that's how you can get claw into a dash attack, which I was talking about before. Uh, let's see if we can get it. See how it knocks Ganon up in the air slightly, and then he has to land? Maybe he can jump out of it, but it looks pretty guaranteed to me. It's worked on 4 Glory quite a bit. Um, I haven't tested out with the DI, but um, yeah, it could it could potentially work. Uh, but my I think my favorite move as Link is definitely up tilt. Up tilt is great if if someone's gonna roll behind you, up tilt. And you see how it, it, it has so much range in the front and behind. So if Ganon was to roll behind me right now, I would just up tilt and then up air. Um, you know, I, I would just cover that range. It's just really good for anti-air, for juggling. Um, up air is also a good kill move. And it comes out fast, so you can kind of double jump up air if people don't see it coming, which I talk about as Toon Link doing. Um, but yeah, the bombs will always send them... Uh, ooh. Yeah, so just little things like that. Another thing I really like to do... Actually, let me go to a flat stage so I can better demonstrate um, the way I control space with the bombs. You probably saw this in my um, For Glory video, me doing this quite a bit. Um, if you haven't already, check out my Link For Glory video. 
so you can see how exactly how I put these things into practice um, if some of these things are not clear. But like, you know, if I throw Ganon off stage and he's at like a, a relatively high percent, Ganon's gonna die, he's hanging on for too long, he's gonna fall off, yep. Okay, so 80%, right? Now, what some things I like to do is like, I hit Ganon off stage and I'll start pulling out bombs and I'll throw them up. And why am I throwing them up? Because look at how much how much space that covers. It's like, okay, well, if you make it past me, I'm gonna go off stage. So I throw the bombs up, and now I I try to attack Ganon as well. And if Ganon happens to make it back onto the stage and, and get up, there's bombs falling on him already. So it's like I'm setting up booby traps just in case he happens to uh to make it through me. Um, some other cool setups you can do is like tossing bombs up and trying to follow up off of them or tossing a bomb up, grab, back throw into the bomb, which can be tough to time, but or up throw into the bomb and then up air. Um, some of these things can be tricky to time, but if you're a link main, I'm sure you will learn it. Yeah, it depends on the spacing, but if you can like throw people off guard, yeah, stuff like that is pretty cool. Um, but definitely bombs. Bombs, bombs, bombs. You should almost always be pulling out a bomb, like, at most points in time. Because that's how you're going to get your KOs. No, not a lot of people are going to let Link hit them. Uh, and that could have been a down air, or insert any aerial here. Um, and I probably should explain how to B reverse the arrows. Um, to B reverse arrows, oh, fully charged arrows are so good too. I like to snipe people off stage with them. Yeah, so arrows, um, as you charge them, get get considerably stronger. So um, charging arrows when your opponent's off stage is also a pretty good idea. Um, and just using them to pester, but like I said before, the, the primary projectile is going to be bombs. See, stuff like that. You can wait till they land and charge your arrows, and I do that in my For Glory video. But um, to be reverse arrows, while in the air... You want to press B and then the opposite direction. And then almost immediately. And then Link will turn around with the arrows. And that is a B reverse. Oops. So what I'm doing is just like full hop back air into B reverse arrow. Just before before I hit the ground. And I don't know. It's a pretty good mix up. It's also just you know a good way to follow up off if your back air hits. Like I said before. Um, let's see if Ganon's going to jump. Yeah, see, so you're already, like, in position. Throw the bomb down. Oh, I missed. But, you know, throwing the bomb down can lead into a bomb spike, or it'll pop your opponent up, even if they're off stage, and it'll, um, kill them, potentially. Up throw at very high percents does KO, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on up throw. Link does not have a wall jump. Um... Some cool mix-ups to do off of jabbing, because you don't want to do the third hit, right? Not all the time. Sometimes if you do the third hit, your opponent will block it, and then they'll just grab you. So some mix-ups I like to do is jab, jab, grab. Assuming they're blocking, right? Because they're going to they're gonna wait for that third hit, because um, that's when you're punishable. That's when you have the most end lag. But if you do jab, jab, you can, um, you know, even jab, jab, and run away, pull out a bomb, you know? Um, but jab, jab, grab is cool because it, it, it can lead into a follow-up, assuming they're blocking or waiting for that third hit. Um, down tilt seems to be a good spacing tool. Probably at mid percents, it'll combo into forward air. That's what it seems like to me. Um, uh, well, it won't combo. Gen can definitely move out of that, but it could potentially lead to stuff. Ooh, and there goes the jab block. Yeah, but using the long-lasting down air off stage is really good because it stays out for so long. So you can literally time, like, you know, you can wait and kind of move into your opponent and, and get them with it. And if they don't tech, they're probably dead. But yeah, um, fast fall neutral air into up tilt is one of my favorite low percent combos. Um, so like things I'll do is like bomb fast fall air up tilt. Regrab, down throw, back air, stuff like that. So um, yeah. So Link is, Link has a lot of potential, and I think since the recent patches we're seeing, um, 
people have not been putting the time into Link, or you know, not many people have been using him. I know Ezaw is doing good things with Link. His up tilt juggles very well, um, so that's cool. And then you can back air, arrow, like we spoke about. So definitely back air into arrow is it's good. It's good damage. It's it's a it's worth practicing. I think. I'm dead. I went way too low for that. Um, but yeah, generally at neutral, I'm using jabs, I'm spacing forward airs, mostly bombs. You know, I'm, I'm just kind of setting up my walls, I'm throwing bombs down into neutral air, into up tilt. That's my main approach. So like, you know, even if they shield it, if they shield my neutral air, I'm making sure I land behind them with it. Not in front of them, because then I'll get shield grabbed. But if they block my neutral air and I'm behind them, I more most likely cannot get punished. Therefore, then I can probably up tilt if they try and shield grab or do something silly, or just turn around and grab them um, in exchange. It gives me advantage, basically. See, um, boomerang is cool too. If you can kind of, uh, oops, if you can kind of anticipate where it's gonna bring your opponent, you can set cool things up. You know, like charging up smash for the kill or forward smash in the opposite direction. Um, and boomerang is just a good way to tack on damage. Another thing to note about the boomerang is that unless it goes back to you, you can't throw it out again. So assuming I hit Ganon like this and the boomerang goes above me, I can't throw another boomerang out. So if it goes right back to me, I can kind of keep juggling Ganon with the boomerangs. Uh, which is pretty, which is pretty pesky, I must say, um, for someone to deal with. Ooh, see, it went past me, so I didn't recatch it, so I can't throw another one. But um, it, it's just a cool thing to be aware of, basically. Ooh, Mr. Foyer. Um, as for ledge options, holding a bomb when you get knocked off is a pretty good way to ensure your safety. Um, so, for example, like. I'm holding a bomb, I get knocked off, right? I up B, bomb explodes, I cannot B again. Um, so that's cool. It, it's, 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 a, it's an insurance policy, basically. See? Boom. I up B again and I make it back. You can actually use this to go under um, Battlefield, Smashville. You can use this technique um, to increase your travel time in the air. So that's pretty cool. Um, you just gotta get the timing down. If you know when it's gonna explode, it'll start like kind of swelling up and blinking red. So that's how you know it's gonna explode soon and you should probably get rid of it. Or just put up your shield. And that that's also a viable strategy to kind of like hold the bomb, run in, shield, and they'll pop him up. And then you can go for a follow up right after that. Um, this is something common that we saw in Brawl with a uh, snake. He would run up to you with grenades and kind of just shield. Maybe look, look for a grab at some points. Um, but yeah. Forward air is, is good. Um, his main kill moves are all his smashes. His dash attack also kills. Um, but yeah, forward smash, the second hit will kill. Um, the first hit will never kill. No matter what percentage Ganon is at, this hit will never kill. So sometimes when I'm looking for a kill opportunity, if I realize that my opponent blocked the forward smash, I just won't do the second hit and I'll just grab them. I'm like, okay, you blocked it, I'm going to grab you now because... It's not worth it. If I throw out the second hit and that gets blocked, look at how much time it takes for Link to put away his sword. So, um, but yeah, all his smashes KO pretty reliably. Up tilt can KO. Forward tilt also KOs, which is very interesting. Um, because it's a move you don't see very often, and it's a move people don't expect, but it does KO at decently early percents. Um, up air, down air. And up throw at extremely high percents. I wouldn't rely on up throw unless you kind of have to. Um, so um, as for as for grab setups, let's see. I know down throw is what you want to do at early percents, which can combo into up tilt, which can lead into a re grab and other other cool setups. Oh, another thing, grounded up B kills too, especially if it's charged. So. It's not a bad idea, um, I just kind of forget that grounded up B is an option, but it hits on both sides, so if someone rolls behind you, they're at high percent, you can just kind of like let them have one of these, um, and that'll be cool. You can get two nares in one full hop, so that's another cool little mind game, like, you know, you can approach your opponent with one and then nair again right before you hit the ground. And it, it, it throws people off because they're like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, wait for that Nair to finish. He's in end lag. But then, no, you have another one right before you hit the ground. So Nair is, Nair is a good tool for, like, 
skimping people if you want to take that risk. Just like kind of keep nairing them off stage. Yeah, so nair is good for that because it stays out for a long time. So if you don't really want to uh, risk down airing, which has more end lag, you can go for nair. And if you need to, you can um, fast fall it by pressing down just so it can cover more space. Um, but yeah, Link, Link is cool. Um, Zair into grab is also a thing. Down throw, up tilt, up air. Um, these are just his low percent setups. Um, and then KO setups at higher percents. I'm gonna get blown up by the bomb, that's fine. Like I said, are just like bomb toss. And you, you see where, they're, where, they're, where they get sent flying to. And then that's where you wanna be. That's where you wanna kinda look to punish. Um, or off stage. Boom. Oh, uh, missed the jab lock. Um, second hit of forward air, I believe, is stronger. But it, it's harder to land. Yeah. For, oh, first hit can kill, but it's not as strong. Back air into nair is also an option that, that I don't do very often. But yeah, you just, you just want to mix things up with Link. Um, trying to see... Uh, Definitely bomb toss into up air is a good KO setup. If they don't block it, oh, you're good. Bomb toss. Yeah, something like that. Or just, you know, bomb toss down into down air. Assuming, assuming they go, um, oops. The bomb is usually going to send them in the direction that Link is facing, from what I understand. Oops, and Ganon is at too high of a percent. Ooh! Oh yeah, bomb toss into footstool, which I think at high percents might not equate to much, but maybe, huh? Maybe. I I could yeah I could see that being actually a, a kill setup for like specifically for down air, and then well depends on the timing. Oops. Come back in, come back. We're almost done. Um, well, I guess not. But um, you can look into that. I'm not a Link main, I'm just the guy. Oh, that was pretty sick actually. That's like combo video material. Um, but yeah guys, so that's pretty much it for the most part. Um, I think I've covered all his moves. Um, generally when people are in front, like I am have my back to the ledge, I'll, that's when I'll use back throw and I'll start pulling out bombs. You know, there, there's a time and a place for all the throws. Like down throw at low percent, obviously. Forward throw, if you're in a situation like this, you just want to kind of get them off stage and start setting up for some kind of KO, um, especially against a character like Ganon. Um, up throw for super high percents. You, otherwise, up throw is meh, in my opinion. But yeah, Nair to up tilt is your best friend. Um, short hop forward air, fast felt. Um, jabs, zares, and grab, you know, grabs. Down throw, stuff like that. Basically, um, bombs are also your best friend as Link. So, um, hopefully you enjoyed this competitive guide. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome of you. And um, please share this with anybody you know who is interested in maining Link. Um, I think it does have some pretty good information. And I think it's very good for anyone who wa wants to get started with the character. And maybe potentially fill in some knowledge gaps. So, thank you so much for watching. As always, leave me a nice comment. And I will catch you guys next time. Later.